realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Rodman. I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he made me wanna go boom I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, and he made me wanna go boom I clap my hand, stop my feet, he made me wanna go boom He made me wanna go boom I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he made me wanna go boom I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, and he made me wanna go boom When I clap my hand, stop my feet, he made me wanna go boom He made me wanna go Gorilla, for real, 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 for it's that you with limitations on my spirit It's never ending, that's why I'm grinning That's why I handle business, staying optimistic Cause the crooked system is ballistic Sticking to the mission, cause my position is way bigger than being a Christian Yeah, so much hate in my residence This is taking my race from the president America screwed up, she's not celebrating African American, he's not my hero oh, I'm frustrated, I can't take it He made me wanna go boom I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired he made me wanna go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet. He made me wanna go boom. He made me wanna go boom. I'm frustrated, I can't take it. He made me wanna go boom. I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired. And he made me wanna go boom. I clap my hand, stop my feet. He made me wanna go boom. He made me wanna go. So why is you faking? You know we ain't playing. You was forgetting, just nothing crazy. Father, come save me. Devil, what you even talking about, like? You were sent to lie straight up out your mind, so Blood brothers together, let the world feel the boom Yeah, it's easy outside, all I see is the doom I'm the true who is you, yeah, my swag's to the room My ghost rider so holy, I let the spirit fill the room I know that you know, yeah, I know that you know Yes, I know that you know, cause I've been told you so The end of days is coming, see bodies on flow Talk about my airflow, yeah, like water I flow And I pray for you, pay cause I give you some more But you gotta chill though, don't let that tea spill though I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I tell you the truth Father, please forgive them, for they know what they do Put their faith in the government, take their eyes off of you They put their faith in the government, they took their eyes off of you oh. I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he made me wanna go boom I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, he made me wanna go boom I clap my hand, stop my feet, he made me wanna go boom He made me wanna go boom I'm frustrated, I can't take it, he made me wanna go boom I'm tired of seeking, I'm sick and tired, and he made me wanna go boom But I clap my hand, stop my feet, he made me wanna Wanna go boom? He made me wanna go. Oh, he made me wanna go boom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that was that music right there. That feel good, get you good. How's everybody doing? Yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome to another. Sunday with Nuts with your boy Dre. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way. I sure am. I know I say it often. I do. I say it often. I even say it a lot. Uh, matter of fact, I may say it all the time. But this time, I really mean it. Not like I didn't mean it all those other times. Or that I mean it more this time than any other time. But I'm going to tell you right now, I missed you guys. I missed you. 
I really did, and I'm so glad you're here with me. And I thank you for just taking out a moment of your time to spend it with me because this is Sunday, and it's going to be nuts because I am your boy, Dre. So let's get right into it, you all. You know what? Let's just do some out of order. Now, again, out of order, it has been, i tell you what, it has been a mainstay of Sunday with Nuts since its inception. I tell you what, this has been the foundation. And it's the foundation because it's helped so many people. It's been my most successful outreach segment. I have really been able to get so many people back in order that have been out of order for so long. Now, out of order, of course, can be you. It could be uh, a family member. It could be a friend. Uh, it could be somebody uh, you work with on your job. Somebody you see at your local grocery store. Somebody you uh, see as you're walking through the park on a beautiful sunny day, just a stranger in the street. I believe it's our duty. It's our obligation to point out things or situations to people that are out of order. Why? So we can help them get in order. Yeah. So here we go. Out of order. Again, uh, if you don't recognize this uh, uh, or this person, uh, that's because you need to walk by a mirror and, and then just stop and look because it's you that's out of order. Here we go, out of order. Uh, number one, if you are carrying a portable oxygen tank and smoking a cigarette, you're out of order. You know what? You already need oxygen. Why are you smoking a cigarette, too? Don't you know you're going to kill yourself? Your lungs can't take it. Too either. You know what? What you're doing is opposites don't attract. Oxygen tank and cigarettes don't go together. You don't mess around and kill yourself. Stop it. You're killing your lungs, y'all. You get that thing in order. Put the cigarette down, okay? Move right along. Again, I want to be a blessing and not a curse, okay? I'm here to help y'all. This ain't for me. Number two, you out of order if this is you. If you're on the corner selling your prescription for medical marijuana, you know what? You just, you know what? You just, you just a different type of dope person. That's what, that's what you are. What, you know what? That prescription is supposed to be for you. It's medical marijuana, okay? It's for your medical condition, for your glaucoma. It's for your eyes, okay? Maybe you're having seizures, and they getting that, they prescribe that to you to calm you down so you don't have seizures like that. But you're on the corner trying to turn, turn a, a quick buck and selling it. You low-down, dirty scumbag. Quit doing that. Get your stuff in order. Again, I want to help somebody tonight. Uh, number three, out of order. If this is you, you showed up out of order. Lord Jesus. If you are abusing your service animal, you know what? Now, say you got a blind, a, a blind uh, CNI dog, and I don't understand why you want to beat the dog. Don't you know that dog gonna lead you straight into traffic, then break the leash and run and, leave, and just run off and leave you, and you gonna get hit by a truck and killed? You can't mistreat your service animal. You blind, and your CNI dog is getting beat by you. Don't you know that? You know what? He's going to take it out on you. He ain't going to forget that. The soon as he get an opportunity, he's going to lead you in the traffic. I'm telling you, he's going he gonna to snap that leash and run off, and there you are, stuck in traffic with cars barreling in the, in, into you. You're going to get hurt. While you're hurting that dog, trust me, he's setting you up for a fall. Don't mistreat the animal. If you're going to mistreat him, you know what? Don't even get a service animal. Just continue to walk through life bumping into stuff. Uh, again, I, I want to be a blessing and, and not a curse. I'm uh, number four. If this is you, you show enough out of order. If you're so dumb, Lord Jesus, if you so dumb that you get fired from your job at the Eminem factory for throwing away all the W's, you know what? First of all, not only should they fire you, but they, they should drug test you first and put that on your record. So you can't get a job nowhere, you idiot. You about a super stupid. Move right along. Y'all ain't gonna upset me. I'm gonna help you, but uh, y'all not gonna give me a headache in the process. Number five, out of order. If this is you, or if or if you go to a church like this, then you out of order. If you go to a church and the pastor's in the pulpit preaching and he got a do rag on, come on, come on now, you you out of order. Get away from that church. Ain't no God in that. You know what? 
Now, all them pictures I've seen of Jesus, uh, now, he ain't had no do-rag on. Come on. Now, now granted, did look like he had a real solid perm in his hair, but I don't think that was from no do-rag, just from chemicals and berries. Thank you. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, if this is you, you show enough out of order. If you go to a church that has a swingers ministry, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I don't understand this. <laughs> they swing it in the church. The pastor and his wife, and, 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 and the pastor and the first lady invite you and your wife over? Talking about come get in the jacuzzi? And let's dip in this holy water? What's the what, what, what is going on? Don't you get in that hot tub with them? They ain't trying to save you. They trying to freak you. Go, get away from them. And you better run out of that church. Don't let them lay them hands on you because they're going to fill you up. Hmm. Your cup ain't going to overflow, but your top going to pop off. Move right along. Uh, out of order. If this is you, you showing up out of order. You know what? If you're so nasty and dirty, if you don't wash your face to the point that you, Lord Jesus, if your mustache got a ringworm, you out of order. First of all, if your mustache got a ringworm, that means your top lip is dirty. How nasty have you got to be where you don't wash your mouth? All that stuff, all that food and stuff getting in your mustache and you ain't even washing off. It's just getting nasty and caked up. And then you got a ringworm eating it. You know what? You disgusting piece of trash. Wash your face. Dip it in some Clorox bleach. Clean yourself up. <sighs> Again, I'm not trying to do this for me. I'm trying to do this for y'all. Please get in order. Move right along out of order. Uh, number eight. If this is you, you out of order. If you're walking around men or women with your shirt off and your chest hair is braided, you know what? That's just nasty. Who's going to take the time to braid your chest hair? Okay? Because if you did it, that's just disgusting. But if you let somebody, if you sit there and lay down and let somebody else braid your chest hair, they're just as nasty as you. I don't understand it, boy. There's it, 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 just something going on with this, this world. It, it, the end is near, y'all. Move right along with the outer order. Number nine, if you're so black that you make your shadow look light-skinned, you out of order. I ain't got nothing against no black because I'm dark-skinned. You know what? I'm high dark. You know what? I, I mean, like high dark, like midnight dark. But you know what? There's some, I've seen people out there that's so dark that I walk by them and, 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 and then that's a double back. It makes me take a second look. Matter of fact, Two days ago, a dude from So Black, I bumped into him because I thought he was my shadow. I expected to walk right through him and I said, oops, oh, wait a minute. You're an actual person. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you, you out of order. Stay out the sun. Get you an inside job, okay? And number 10, finally, on the out of order. If you get fired from your job as a 911 operator, for sending people straight to voicemail, you got all this. You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm not, I'm I'm gonna leave that alone because I, I I mess around and and, and and I I I I go outside and slap somebody just just for saying something stupid like that. You know what? These people they call you, they got problems. Their life might be in danger, and you gonna send them to voicemail? These people it, it breathing hard, crying, screaming. They already panicked, and you send them straight to voicemail. You know what? Boy, you. Yeah, they should have fired you. They should have locked you up after they beat your brains half out. Uh, again, I, I, I don't want to hurt nobody. I want to help somebody. I want to be a blessing and not a curse. They ain't doing it for me. I'm doing it for y'all because y'all are stupid. Not all y'all. I'm just saying y'all stupid for not knowing you stupid. But now, if you know you stupid, then that is intelligence. That means you're going to try and fix it. All right? Yeah. Woo, you like the way I dressed that up. Anyway, uh, this new segment that I'm introducing uh, to the Sundays with Nut is, well, it's a segment that I, this should be a, a eye-opening segment. I know a lot of people should be able to relate to this because you know what? A lot of us encounter these people that say or do things that are just so just so outlandish, that are so stupid, that are so shocking, that leaves us in a state of utter disbelief. We're just like, you know what? We just want to slap. 
It's some people out there that say and do stuff that deserve to be slapped. Now, if you don't recognize this person in one of these, that's because it's you. And somebody needs to slap you. You better slap yourself. You better slap some sense into yourself before somebody else beats you to it and it hurts your feelings in your face. Again, this segment is called Things People Do or Say That Make You Want to Slap Them. <laughs> Number one. Oh, disclaimer. I am in no way endorsing Vile. Okay? Just self-help. There you go. All right. Number one. Things people say or do that make you want to slap them. Number one. If somebody got the nerve to say this to you, mm, mm, mm. that's why I didn't want to come over here anyway and ask you to borrow $40. I knew you was going to bring up that little $20 I already owe you. You know what? You ain't paying them back twenty dollars, and now you want to borrow forty more. I tell you what, come bring that mess over to me. You owe me, you owe me uh, uh, twenty dollars, and, and, and you gonna come back and try and get double that from me, and you ain't paying me the twenty. See what happened to you? I bet I'm gonna slap you. It just things that some some people do or say that make you want to slap them. Number two, and look here, if I give you a ride to work, and you offer me gas money, and then get an attitude when I accept it. If you didn't mean to offer it to me, if you weren't sincere in your offer, you shouldn't have never made it. And then get mad at me when I take it. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm good enough. Okay, I'm going to put these five fingers together, and they're going to meet up with the side of your jaw. Smack! Number three, things people say or do that make you just want to slap them. Now, here we are. Oh, this right here. Oh, oh, oh this, will, this will get a Negro slapped. Oh, this will get you slapped back in the 1980s. <laughs> this is a time travel slap that that, that, that they get to you. You know what? If we sitting around laughing and joking, and out of nowhere, you start tickling my wife. What the? I noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm not even slapping you with my hand. I'm going to slap you with a baseball bat across the side of your face. I'm not playing with you. Man, you, boy, you, you got to be high on more than life to tickle my wife. Again, things that people say or do just make you want to slap them. Number four, now you borrow my car to run some errands. And then while you're running your errands, you run out of gas. Leave my car on the side of the road and catch a cab home. Then call me and tell me, uh, you better go get your car before somebody do something to it. You know what? <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> Let me catch you in the street. Let me catch you in the street. Let me catch you in the street and see what happens. Thank you. I'm going to be looking for you. Things that people do or say that make you want to just slap them. Number five. Uh-oh. Whoa. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. you talking about crossing the line. you talking about crossing the line. This one right here. Number five. You take a picture of my baby and then stick it on the scarecrow and put it in your guard. Jesus. Ladies, now look. I know that you know you know they got people got the you know the women they got the natural they're going natural and and this and they got the hair weave but I I know every woman out there either got one or you've had one of these and this right here if somebody do this this will make you want to slap them for real. If one of your girlfriends borrow your good wig. And then go swimming in it. Woo! Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. Oh, oh, oh. It's all, it's all, it's all. Ah, somebody getting ready to have their skull cracked. They jaw broke. They eyes plucked out. Woo! Yes, 
Somebody get ready to get their face clawed up. Okay? Yes. Yes. Somebody getting ready to be battle tested up off in here. All right? Yes, they are. Things that people say or do that make you just want to slap them. Number seven. Now, look here. If we're at home and we're having a nice little comfy, cozy movie night, and then you get up to use the restroom, you don't wash up, then come back, sit down, and stick your hand in the popcorn. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You nasty son of a gun. You. Oh, don't you. you then you done wiped on your, on, your, on, your, on, your, on your below parts, and now you can. And I'm supposed to. Lucy Satan, that's how you get your face smacked up. Mm. I can Tina in this place. I can Tina in this place. Yes. Eat the popcorn, anime. Eat the popcorn. Eat all the doggone popcorn because you got your nasty hands all over it. Smack, smack. No, hey. Things that people say or do that make you just want to slap them. Now, if I, send you to the, if I send you to the grocery store with some money and tell you to get me a gallon of milk, then you bring me back three gallons of milk, but it's spoiled milk. And you're talking about, look, these ones on sale. You know what? Oh, you're going to wonder why you waking up looking up. Smack, smack. Uh, number nine. Things people say or do that make you just want to slap them. Lord Jesus. Now I can understand these, these you know, women, they're, they're wearing these, like, these, these, this different color uh, hair, you know, they got blue hair, they got red streaks, they got green hair, they got blue streaks, all that stuff. You know what? However you want to express yourself with color, okay? I ain't got no problem with that. But this right here gets you smacked. If you dye your eyebrows red, you know what? That's, that right there is going to get your face smacked. I'm sorry. I, I, again, I'm not endorsing violence or physicality, but that right there, yes, you deserve to get your face smacked because you look ridiculous, okay? Okay? You step out the house, somebody yell, send in the clown. Come on now. Come on now. I know you had to walk by a mirror. You saw how ridiculous that looked. You ain't going to be out in public with me looking like that. You don't get your face smacked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm not trying to slap that hurt you. I'm just trying to slap that stuff out your eyebrows. <laughs> Number 10, things people say or do that make you just want to slap them. Now, look here. If you offer to house sit for me while I go on my vacation, and we both know you're a crackhead, talk about, uh, uh, you don't mind if, uh, if I uh, house sit, you ought to let me babysit your DVD player. You know what? First of all, it ain't no, it ain't no living thing. How you going to babysit a doggone DVD player, huh? You crack it. You ain't gonna get. You know what? This is for, for, for even letting that mess come through your lips. Smack, smack, smack. Dig them smacks. Again, I just want to be a blessing and, and not a curse. I want to help people because there's some people out there that just live in the wrong kind of way, and I'm trying to help them live a, a, a right kind of way. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for y'all. That's why I do it because I love you. I just want you to do better, okay? And I don't want you to go get smacked. I don't want you to be just outside and randomly people just start slapping the hell out of you because you're just doing something ridiculous or you're saying something stupid, even if you deserve it. So stop. And finally, we are coming to the church announcement. Woo, Lord Jesus. Yes. I invite you, please, to join us uh, in the sanctuary or please... Uh, Watch us as we stream online, uh, for we are the church of Jesus, take the wheel. I got the gas, the Baptist church. Now, we are small in number, but we are big in faith. I said we are small in number, big in faith, all right? And the reason why I do the church announcement is because I want to make sure that uh, the body is uh, all on one accord. And everyone is kept abreast of what's going on within the church. I want to make sure that everybody is in complete and total agreement and understanding. Okay? Everyone should be informed. Now, I do it for the 
individuals that uh, were not able to attend the service for the sick that did it and set it up in. And also I do it for individuals that uh, were in the service, but for some reason may not have heard all the announcements because they were too busy back there laughing, gigging, and, and he hollering about uh, how my wife's wig was on crooked, tilted to the side. Oh, you're supposed to be a friend. You're supposed to have love for the first lady, but you didn't have enough decency to tell her that her wig was on crooked, okay, and her hair was at an angle. But you just want to laugh at her, okay? <laughs> what goes around come around, okay? Yeah. Let me catch one of you old bats walking around here and your slip start to fall. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. Matter of fact, I might trip you and make you fall. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, the church announcement, number one. Now for number one, uh, look here. Mother Benson's glass eye fell out while she had caught the spirit, and she was jumping around and bouncing, and her glass eye fell out, and it rolled down up under the seat. Uh, unfortunately, she uh, wasn't able to uh, find it, uh, and she was uh, pretty uh, pretty upset about it. I just told her, uh, Mother Benson, uh, don't don't be sad and uh, don't get discouraged. Uh, you know, just keep an eye out for it. Uh, number two, uh, look here. People were wondering why I didn't want to lay hands and pray for Deacon Monroe uh, today. Uh, and they wondered why I turned him away and I didn't want to pray for him. The truth is, uh, quite simply, um, it wasn't anything spiritual or personal. It was the fact that uh, I saw he had a roach on him, and I wasn't going to touch him. Church announcement number three. Uh, we will now require anyone wishing to be baptized to shower first before they get in the baptismal pool. Brother Kevin went up under the water and came up out of mud. I mean, the water was clear when he got in, but when he got out, it looked like Nestle Quick. Okay? I don't think that uh, uh, John baptized Jesus in no you who. Okay? Wash your butt, okay, before you, you try to get in the baptism. That's just nasty and dirty. We had to now we got to drain the thing and we we had to the the uh put the other three baptismals uh off into next Sunday because the water would have would have to be drained because it was so filthy dirty. Oh Jesus, it didn't make no doggone sense. And, I, and somebody said there was a small catfish in there. You nasty. Mm-hmm. I hope I, I, you know what I hope I, I, I hope God saved you and I hope He washed you clean, inside and out. Uh, number four, uh, look here, Mother Mother Corrine. I know that you are ninety two years old, and I know you slow about doing things, and I know that your your mind it, it ain't as sharp and as quick as it used to be. And at ninety two years old, I'm not you know I'm I'm not holding nothing against you. But I'm saying, come on, really? Really? I understand better late than never, but really? Here it is in the middle of August, and I'm just not getting my secret Santa gift from you from last Christmas? Really? Really, Mother Corrine? And it had the nerve to be some candy. Lord Jesus. Honey, the building club. This is the part of the announcements uh, that, uh, well, it, it, it's, it's a part that uh, that has a little bit of everything. It has intrigue, mystery, horror, uh, humor, drama, suspense, the building fund. As of today, the building fund has raised. You know what? I'm I'm about to shut the doors of the church, and uh, you know we I, we we just go we go we go. You know y'all can mess around, and make me do Sunday at church's chicken. That's gonna be the only church y'all gonna have from from, from here on out. If y'all keep playing with me. I'm gonna read it. I ain't scared. I'm gonna read it just like you wrote it too. Here it is. The building fund has raised, and I quote, a great deal of controversy. You know 
Well, thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Sunday with Nuts. This is your boy, Dre, and I have truly enjoyed every moment we have spent together. Now, I'd like to pray us out, as I always do. So I ask you that, please, join me. I ask all heads are bowed and all eyes are closed. Unless, of course, you're blind, then it really don't matter, does it? Come on. Who you fooling? Really? <clears throat> oh, Lord, we thank you for another edition of Sunday with Nuts. We thank you for another opportunity to come together for fun, faith, and fellowship. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for how you blessed us to make it through another week. And we ask that you bless us to make it through another week and another week after that. We thank you for making a way out of no way for us and for opening doors that no man can close. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I was able, Lord Jesus, to turn that uh, movie in back in the red box before they realized that I actually switched the movie and gave them an old scratch the movie and they accepted it and I've been checking my debit card and they ain't hit me for no extra fee so I thank you for that little ram in the bush but most of all we just thank you Lord Jesus because you love us so much that your grace and your mercy sustains us and keeps us we praise you and give you honor and glory these and other blessings we thank you and we ask you for Amen. Now you all enjoy the rest of your night and your rest of your week. Monday is a new day, and it's a new way to get up and say, praise God. Thank you for waking me up. And to next week, I cannot wait to see you, and I'm going to miss you. And it'll be more Sunday, more nuts, more drink, and I'm getting ready to eat me some, so I'm about to blow up. Boom, boom. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. If you try, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to kick you right there before. I, I, you know what? I ain't going to get into it, but it's going to be, it's, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you if I have to love you. I'm going to love you with hurt. My love hurts, y'all. My love hurts. Good night, y'all. Enjoy your week. See you next Sunday. Lord, you're so wonderful. Awesome. You're so great. Strong and omnipotent. You know everything you omniscient. When you start something, you always finish it. From Revelation, starting back to Genesis. You're the record holder, no need for Genesis. Heaven is home, you're thrown to premises. Alpha and Omega never is diminishing. You turn mad men in a gentleman. You're the prescription, no need for medicine. You're so perfect, great, and intelligent. You are the president of all presidents. So many mans is inside your residence. Messages from your angels is heaven sent. Jesus Christ is who you blessed us with. And the Holy Spirit is what you left us with. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You magnificent, hey, you made the heavens first. The sun, stars, moon, the whole universe. It spoke existence to this whole planet Earth. It formed man straight up out the dirt. Your father gave everything birth. The explanation, how much you were worth. Your living water, so we'll never thirst. Bless spiritually, although my flesh curse. Angelic beings are always at work. You invented disciples to create church. You know everything. You don't have to research. You a healer, doctor, surgeon, nurse. You move forward. You don't have to reverse. You just act. You don't have to rehearse. God to see me through the pain and hurt. It's your mercy to what we deserve. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You're magnificent. You are. You are. Man, you're magnificent. magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You're magnificent. Made the oceans and trees, lakes, ponds, creeks, every water stream. Articulate, creative, everything. Gave us voices so we can all sing. Lord of Lords and King of all kings. You taught Joseph how to interpret.
every dream You may silver and go Say ching ching Made every diamond go bling bling Salvation, you gave it to us for free You made a summer, fall, winter, and the spring I'm so proud to be on the winning team J-E-S-U-S, G-O-D You made the grass, flowers, roses, trees Fruits and vegetables, and planted all seeds Perfect in all your ways, yes indeed This is my letter to thank you for blessing me You're magnificent Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life You're magnificent You are, you are Lord, you're the best thing ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. I just want to tell you, thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Everything you did for me is not in vain. I know we live in a crooked and corrupted world. I appreciate you for all things. You are all in all. I just want to tell you, thank you. I love you. Yes. You appreciate it. Amen. Within my heart. I love you. Amen.